And the struggle continues. Algae has gotten a little bit better. Um, I just realized that I am actually not running carbon or purgent by Seachem. So that along with a lot of the plants in this tank are slow growing except for those stem plants in the back and my livestock numbers have gone down so I wonder if that's playing a role but starting to put a little bit of a dent in this brown algae ultimately it is because I have all these rocks and driftwood and my substrate is probably two inches thick uh, front to back give or take or so and I really haven't been cleaning the substrate up until about six months ago or so and so I've ordered some more supplies to get some carbon back on the tank and some other chemical filtration to help starve the allergy of the nutrients, the extra nutrients that's in the tank. I have stopped dosing my fertilizers on the tank and this fish right here, where did it go? Uh, it lost part of its fin got caught and it's slowly growing a new one back which I think is pretty cool Let's see if I can get a good close-up of that um, what else I have pulled um, both heaters out since um, I won't be needing them um, throughout the summer and I've moved all of my wave makers to the top back row, uh, which is kind of an eyesore, but the purpose of that is so I can start cleaning the substrate in the back this summer. As I do water changes, more often I'll be cleaning the substrate, and then I pretty much have never cleaned that back row where the heaters were. So that will give me an opportunity to start doing it. And then I also wanted to test out what I've been reading online about putting your wave makers at the top. And then of course the aqua clears are in the back. So there's a huge push of water towards the front. It goes down the glass and then creates this Strong backdraft. Um, and then it comes up. So, believe it or not, I just did a water change. Um, probably 80 or so percent. And vacuumed out a lot of this green brown sludge allergy. Temperature wise, 79.9, 80.2, pH 6.91. Did a major cleaning on the Fluval 406, uh, replacing two filters, uh, cleaning out fish tank water, uh, the four pre filters on it. And again, I use my Fluval 406 as mainly. It has four trays, um, and then there's a side tray. So the main four trays basically have a CCAM matrix or CCAM denitrate, and that's pretty much it. Most of my mechanical filter is utilized with the AquaClear 110s. So. Uh, and that's pretty much my setup. Um, normally I would keep a bag 
of carbon there, but it's not there. Um, there's an old bag of carbon, but that carbon is pretty much done. And no purging, seeking purging on the tank right now. So really no chemical filtration at all. It's all mechanical. And um what biological. So solutions are one try and get some of the rocks that are unnecessary out of the tank um, or try and group the rocks so that they're more uh, well bottom line is I'm running into a nitrate type problem and a phosphate problem so basically add to my cleanup crew uh, which unfortunately I've lost all the quarry cats so I need to have another go at that and more snails. I'm not a big fan of algae eaters so I won't be getting any of those for my tank and quite frankly until I get this tank more stabilized I am cutting into my budget for my saltwater tank. So. One year anniversary is coming up on the 4th of July for this tank, so stay tuned for that. My goal is to have this allergy out of the tank by the anniversary. Alright, don't want to make this video too long. Welcome new subscribers. As always, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Feedback is always welcome. Just leave it down below. Any positive or negative feedback, either way. And love to hear your feedback, comments, and suggestions. Thanks for watching.